Royal Australian Air Force pilots are at the top of their game. But for the pilots, it hasn't always been this way. Hours of training and testing, guided by the science of achievement, has enabled Air Force pilots, like those in the pilot seat of the roulettes, to be able to handle extraordinary situations, dealing with four and a half Gs, travelling up to 590 kilometres per hour in a four-dimensional, unpredictable environment. But how would these experts and their physical and mental skills cope in the world of professional tennis? And what do tennis stars and pilots have in common? This is Sam Groth. Using accelerometers, analysis from our testing labs show us that it's a combination of strength, speed, timing and coordination that give him the world's fastest serve. Our Air Force pilots aren't too shabby either. Physical testing shows their training provides a good deal of fitness and using technology for neural-based cognitive tests, we see how they've been trained to excel in spatial reasoning and stay impressively calm. So how will our pilots cope facing the fastest server in the world? May not be a bullet or a rocket flying at them, but uh, I'm definitely going to unleash some heat. I'd be a bit nervous if I was them. Not surprisingly, both pilots' heart and stress rates are going up. It kind of went in slow motion for me. I could see him bouncing the ball, and then when he swung the racket, it was a flash until the ball was already gone past me. I want to put it in my terms, he's serving faster than uh, we need to be to, to take off an aircraft, so it should be coming pretty quick. Probably take me a few years to be able to return a serve like that. A few years of training? Well, I'd say that that's what 99% of tennis pros are thinking. But I say hats off to the Air Force pilots because it's not their comfort zone, it's Sam's. So to be fair, it's now time to get Sam airborne in an Air Force roulette. And who better to take Sam up into the air than Air Force roulette pilot, Dan. Air Force pilots like Dan weren't born with these skills. Their drive and determination and many hours of training and hard work help pilots like Dan and his roulette team acquire extraordinary flying skills. Their skills are so good, they can handle mind-bending, gravity-challenging aerobatics in formation just three metres apart. But how will Sam cope? Well, to find out just how differently Sam and pilot Dan react to a roulette flight, we've put them in the latest state-of-the-art data tracking and neural testing gear to monitor their heart rate and stress levels. Uh, no, obviously I fly a lot commercially, we, tra we travel a lot as tennis players, but I've never been in a, in a high-performance aircraft before and uh, yeah, I'm maybe a little bit nervous about it. So what we'll do is we'll get you strapped into the seat and we'll talk about all the safety uh, aspects of the ejection seat. It's quite daunting, but it's really there to save your life in the event that uh, we need to get out of the aircraft really quick. Uh, hopefully we're not going to have to use it today. Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> yeah, me too, me too. Uh, Can't touch that thing. I'm worried about touching the ejector seat. That's what keeps worrying me. The flight starts off okay, but pilot Dan takes it up a notch with a loop the loop that sends Sam's heart rate and stress levels soaring. Dan himself remains calm and in control. Uh, it was pretty quiet in the back seat there, so I had to keep talking to him to make sure he's still alive. It was when things turned upside down, quite literally, that Sam realised just how wild it all really was. Luckily for Sam, it was time to land. Given he's a tennis pro, not a pilot, uh, he's certainly uh, young tough today in some of the bits where he, the body is under a lot of stress uh, with the G, which we're acclimatised to as Air Force pilots, uh, but he's not. Well, what a ride for Sam that was. And if you're keen to start your training, search Air Force Pilot now.